Hello again. Tonight we're going to make a pork chop dinner. And we're actually going to make two different versions of pork chops. Because not everybody in this household likes um, the shake and bake. So we're going to make two versions of pork chops. If you're hearing a noise, that is probably the furnace. I apologize for that. A little more beef broth to that. Okay, and I let these sit out for a little bit so they just get to room temperature a little bit. They're thin, so we're gonna pour in here, and then I will. I'm just gonna pour. Just gonna pour this over here. That one's ready to go. This one ready for the other pork chops. Get it good and coated here. And I did spray these pans with a little bit of um, olive oil spray. Okay, yeah, just coat it real good. These are my favorite, of course. Used to have them a lot when I was a kid. Okay, now I'm going to spoon some of the golden mushroom soup on there. And that's looking really good. This is my favorite ones. I love these. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder to mine. And a little bit of garlic. And I probably, a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of pepper. I'm not going to add any salt. Because pretty much we let everybody salt their food. Okay, we will get those in the oven and then probably about 15 20 minutes before they're ready to come out of the oven. About 45 minutes, it depends on your oven. I will check because we like them really tender. Um, 30, I'll check at 30 minutes. Um, but I'm about 15 minutes before that, I am going to start the beans. So, see, we'll see you then. We're going to start the beans now. I've got the pan getting hot. The pork chops are about 15 minutes away from getting done. So, I'm going to put just a little bit of just a little bit of olive oil in here and I'm going to add about a tablespoon of butter I, just, I like the combination of butter and olive oil, and it helps. It helps um, save on um, the good good fat versus the bad fat. I'm gonna throw in about a handful of these bacon crumbles. Let those get 
get good and warmed up. Yeah, the pork chops are looking really yummy. Just let this simmer a little bit here. Look at that. Oh, it smells. I, I, I really. It's too bad YouTube doesn't have smell a vision. If you could smell this bacon. I found that those uh, bacon crumbles. For me, works better than just regular bacon because I don't use them that often. But and I can just keep them in the freezer. Okay, now I'm gonna dump this beans in. And give it a good mix. bit of onion powder and garlic powder. We use garlic and onion powder in everything and you can use real garlic. Um, I've done that before. I just peeling and dicing garlic is not my um, favorite thing to do. So we're gonna let those um, cook some and and it doesn't um, matter if they get a little toasty there. It's it's actually actually tastes better if they've got a little toastiness to them. So we'll let those go and pretty soon we'll get to plate up and then the best part is we get to eat up. Here we go. Everything's out of the oven. Let's pour some of this gravy on this. Some beans. And there we go. Now the rewards is eating. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you enjoy this uh, recipe. I know I'm going to. See you next time. And remember, stay busy and serve others. Bye for now.